Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, in one of the last few videos I'll do on improving Windows this year. Of course, we always talk about performance. Now, Windows 10 performance-wise is actually not bad at all. It performs uh, as well, if not better, than Windows 7. Um, and I've had PCs running Windows 7 that I converted to old PCs with Windows 7 converted to Windows 10 with no significant uh, difference in performance or maybe even a slight improvement. I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, Windows 10 is bloated and it's like it's actually much more optimized than Windows 7 ever was. Um, and the way that it uses RAM also makes it very, very efficient. Now, that doesn't mean that it's the best around. That doesn't mean there's no place for improvements. Um, but there's uh, definitely place for making things a little better. You know, there's always one thing that we're scared of every time there's, you know, changes. And when they add new stuff to the... Uh, when they add new stuff and new, uh, you know, features, we always think of, well, you know, what's the impact on performance of Windows? And I think if we have one thing that we just uh, want to talk about improving Windows is just make sure that it's stable and fast. I think we all agree upon this, that this is the thing that they should make sure they take care of. That stability first and speed also is there. Stability, it's actually quite good. It is interesting all the people that I see that say, you know, they got blue screens. And remember that blue screens, 99% of them are more related to your hardware drivers and um, faulty hardware and the software you've installed than anything else. The majority of blue screens are not Windows related. They are third-party related. So it's something else that's messing up your Windows install. And there's all sorts of things that can happen in there that cause this. Because uh, Windows 10 is very stable. I get questions from time to time about, you know, uh, I hear that Windows 10 is not stable compared to Windows 7. It's as rock solid, if not more, than Windows 7, honestly. I never have blue screens. I never have freezes. I have several Windows 10 PCs here. They all work perfectly without any glitch some of them work 24 hours a day i've never never seen blue screens or problems uh, in general on the operating system except when i mess up stuff you know the the blue screens i've seen on my pc are related to things that i know that i did most of the time so that's also something to uh to think about and you know bad drivers are a very very high percentage of those blue screens and uh, that has to do with the manufacturer of your device that's screwing up and not windows or microsoft the uh performance is still needed and the stability is still needed so of course they need to be careful and make sure that things are better and you know, one of the aspects of improving Windows that I did talk about is there's need to uh, improve and make sure that Windows update is better and that it doesn't actually induce things, uh, problems, and, um, you know, freezes or blue screens that weren't there before. Uh, that's important. And uh, that, I think, is uh, where Microsoft, you know, it all gathers to the performance of your system. Microsoft needs to make sure that everything's all right. So for the rest, um, you know, it uh, is um, still a great operating system. If we compare the five years of Windows 10 upgrades, and I mean, it's not slower today than it was five years ago. They've carefully chosen how the upgrade goes. They're carefully chosen how things happen. And um, it's pretty much stayed in the same performance level. There's even been some increase in performance in some cases. If you have devices with newer hardware, They've been uh, using some of the new technologies and the new features and technology that help with uh, the uh, new hardware. And this is kind of cool. So, uh, you know, it's um, something that they still need to work on and they still need to make sure that stability is there and that efficiency is there so that we have fast computers, uh, performance, and that there's nothing wrong while we're using them, that everything is working great. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.